しないで邪魔しないで With Dragon Ball Fighters, many people have had their eye on the brand new character Android 21. If you want her on your team, you'll need to know how to use her. In this Android 21 guide, you'll find information on all her special moves, supers, and more. Some quick housekeeping before we begin. I'll be using some fighting game terminology to describe some of these moves. So, for folks who are not up to date, L is light attack, M is medium attack, and H is heavy attack. And a tiger knee is the advanced notation to make excellent full course, normally an aerial super, hit when a ground super is normally required. At a glance, Android 21 is a fairly straightforward character. She can perform a level 1 and level 3 super move in the air and on the ground. Giving her a lot of combo options. And her special moves also work well in combos. However, once you start digging into Android 21, you'll find that she excels at mid range combat with her standing and crouching medium attack, which are similar to some of Kid Buu's attacks. She can also grab opponents who obtain new special moves, giving her access to up to four additional special moves that vary depending on the opponent. Her long range normal attacks give her an edge against most characters in a one on one battle, which makes her a decent anchor character. This also gives you time to land all four Connoisseur Cut Command grabs so you can fight with her at full power. She really doesn't need assists more than other characters, so I don't recommend her as your starter. But she can make a good second character, so you still have a strong. Anchor that isn't dependent on landing four command grabs. Something important to make note of. Her aerial heavy attack will not slam opponents to the ground, placing them in a sliding animation like most other characters. With other characters, you can end certain aerial combos with heavy attack, then follow with a super move while they're sliding on the ground. Android 21's aerial heavy attack is basically a normal attack that you can cancel into a special or super move. If you want to slam them to the ground to follow with a ground super move, use the light hors d'oeuvre stab instead. This opens up a few new combo opportunities. Especially in the corner. For example, in the corner you can connect crouching medium, medium jump cancel, light medium heavy, down heavy super dash, light medium jump cancel, light medium heavy, EX order of stab, then sweet tooth. This is Android 21's primary combo ender when you want to go for damage. After a short hop, Android 21 slams the opponent to the ground. The light version is the only one that can be used to end an aerial combo mid screen. However, in the corner, you can use any version at the end of the combo. Either way you go, the hors d'oeuvre stab drops the opponent to the ground so you can follow with the photon wave or sweet tooth super moves. Each stronger version of the hors d'oeuvre stab inflicts more damage and gives Android 21 more time to follow with something else. You can't follow the light hors d'oeuvre stab with much beyond a super move or vanish. But you can follow the heavy version with a super dash in the corner. The Connoisseur Cut is how Android 21 absorbs the energy of her opponent and gains new special attacks. The special attacks you obtain vary depending on the character the attack is used on. Once you absorb a special move, the command for the Connoisseur Cut turns into whatever new special move you gained. There are essentially four versions of the Connoisseur Cut special move that takes up each of the four slots just above Android 21's super meter Quarter Circle Front plus special on the ground, Quarter Circle Front plus special in the air, Quarter Circle Back special on the ground, and Quarter Circle Back special in the air. Each one performs the same command grab and cannot be blocked by an opponent. You can combo Into every version of the Connoisseur Cut, either on the ground or in the air, except for the grounded quarter circle front plus special version, unless you use an assist. However, if your attack string leading up to the Connoisseur Cut is blocked, the opponent can interrupt all versions of the command grab before it hits. The command grab is rather slow, so trying to tick throw into it during a block combo string will be difficult against a skilled opponent. A well timed quarter circle back plus special can be used as an anti air command grab. Or you can use any of the aerial connoisseur cut special moves as air to air attacks or to end an aerial combo. To combo into the quarter circle front plus special aerial version, you'll need to take the opponent a little higher into the air because it moves Android 21 into a downward angle. You can even pull off an excellent full core super move after an aerial connoisseur cut if you're fast enough. Android 21 can also gain four different sets of special moves, meaning there are quite a few characters that give her the same special move. In addition, only two distinct special moves can be stolen from a single character. Even if you connect all four Connoisseur Cut variants on the same character, you will end up with two special moves that can be each be done on the ground or in the air. 
Every character falls into one of four special movesets. We have a chart of it in our article. The fact that there are only four sets should make it easier to remember which character gives you what special move. But it also limits Android 21 a bit. Because of this fact, you should take a look at our chart on the article. So you can plan your combos accordingly so you can get the widest variety of attacks. Many of these special moves can chain into one another if the attacks connect, and if you have them in the correct slots. Some of the most significant pairings are the Aerial Consecutive Energy Blast and Command Grab, or the Solar Flare into Kamehameha, but all of them work in the same slot combinations. We'll use the Aerial Consecutive Energy Blast and Command Grab as an example. But once again, all four sets of her absorbed special moves work in the same slot configurations and can chain together. The Aerial Consecutive Energy Blast transitions directly into the Command Grab by pressing the special button after the Energy Blast connects if you have them in slots 1 and 4, or slots 2 and 4. Likewise, the command grab transitions directly into an aerial consecutive energy blast by pressing the special button again if you have them in slots 1 and 3, or in slots 2 and 4. This allows you to easily combo the command grab to the aerial consecutive energy blast. However, going the other way around is a bit harder, because you have to be close enough for the command grab to reach after the aerial consecutive energy blast. And even then, spacing can be an issue, especially in the corner. This works with any combination of absorbed attacks. For example, if you steal the Aerial Consecutive Energy Blast and Command Grab from Gotenks, Kamehameha from Yamcha, and Teleport from Hit, you can chain them all together to get a Command Grab that leads into a very simple 50% damage combo. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. The Total Detonation Ball is Android 21's standard projectile attack. The light version travels horizontally across the screen, while the medium version travels at an upward angle, and can be used as an anti-air attack if timed well. The heavy version is the same as the light version, except it shoots out much faster and powers up in size and damage as you steal more special moves. Be careful when using the heavy version, as it will reset any absorbed special moves you have. All three versions will beat normal key blasts, but clash with command key blasts such as Kamehameha. You can follow all three variations with a vanish to start a combo. The photon wave hits from Android 21's current horizontal position on screen to whatever corner she's facing. That means if you're in the middle of the screen and facing right, the super move will hit anyone directly under Android 21 and cover the ground all the way to the right corner, but it won't hit anything to the left of her. While this super move can be done on the ground or in the air, Android 21 always teleports to the same height before executing the super move. If you use this super move while you're high in the sky, chances are it will miss since the opponent will be high in the sky as well. You'll need to use an order derp stab to bring the opponent back down to the ground, then cancel that into a photon wave. Similar to both Boo characters, Sweet Tooth shoots out a beam that turns the opponent into a random dessert item. With this attack, Android 21 gains a small amount of Boo health back. While this super move doesn't inflict as much damage as her other level 3 supers, getting health back can make up for that small loss of damage. And this is Android 21's only level 3 super that can be performed on the ground. Excellent Full Course is Android 21's other level 3 super, and it can only be done in the air. If you're on the ground, you can end the notation with diagonal up back to make Android 21 jump in the air so you can perform the super on the ground. But the timing of this Tiger Knee input can be very tricky. However, once you master the Tiger Knee version of the super, you can end corner combos with the heavy of the order of stab, then perform the Tiger Knee excellent full course to get maximum damage. Android 21's assist is the light version of the Total Detonation Ball. It works well just to keep an opponent in check, but doesn't hold an opponent in place as long as a beam assists from characters like Goku. Android 21 doesn't really have a best assist because her playstyle will change depending on which special moves you absorb. At a base level, she works well with an assist that locks the opponent in place, such as Gotenks Galactic Donuts assist. However, because the Connoisseur Cut does not hit an opponent in an active guard stun, beam assists don't help much with connecting the attack. And with this information, hopefully you'll make Android 21 one of your mains. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Check back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.